timer. For our warm up, we're going to go through the moves in our workout here. Okay, so first one is going to be a dumbbell swing. So we're holding on to the dumbbell, push your chest out. You're going to push your hips back. This is a hinge, not a squat, and then squeeze the glutes coming tall. When we're doing this, make sure you're not overarching at the top. So at the top, rib cage down, squeeze your glutes, score tight, and again, push the hips back like you're reaching through the tops of the legs. Squeeze the glutes coming tall. Core is nice and tight. Belly button pull to the spine. Good, almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's do one arm thrusters. So core nice and tight. You're going to start on that. Let's put this up a little. You're going to start on the weaker side of the body. So squatting on down. Power up. Keep that rib cage tight. Squeeze your glutes, pushing up. And again, always starting with the weaker arm first. You don't want to give your stronger side more attention. So because we're using stabilizers that we'll need for both sides, always weaker side first. And now we can switch to the stronger side. So front rack position, chest is proud, squatting down. Good morning, come on in, hi. Okay, almost there, three more. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's take it down to the mat. We're gonna do an alternating sit up, okay? Make sure you guys can see me. So alternating sit up, so hands behind the head, twisting to one side, reset back down, switch those sides up. So keep that chest proud. Shoulders down and back, exhale, bring to the top. Nice, looking good. Yeah, alternating as you come on up. Good. Two, and let's swing one over. We're gonna do a plank walk out to one leg lowering. So plank walk out, core nice and tight, push your hips back. They're gonna walk out and then the wider your feet, the easier, if you're comfortable, you're gonna bring one foot up, squeeze, slow to lower, push back up, and then back up toward the top. The core nice and tight, shoulders down and back. And again, if you're not comfortable with slow lowering push-ups, don't worry about bringing up one leg. Do what's right for you, you can even bring it down to the knees. Awesome. Perfect, nice straight line, that looks great. Other slide. Awesome, looking good. All right, let's do a sit up hold with the dumbbell rotation if you're comfortable. Okay, so holding onto a weight for the top of our sit up. Nice slow and controlled, leaning down to one side. So very similar to a Russian twist, but keeping those arms as straight as we can as we rotate, keeping that chest proud. Awesome. Good. And one more. All right. Let's go into a side plank. So side plank, elbow is underneath your shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades together, core nice and tight. Let me see if I can maneuver myself so I do not hit my leg. Okay, there we go. So Elbow underneath shoulder, put your shoulder blades together, core tight, lifting the leg up, control to lower back down. So, <laughs> trying to get so you guys can both see me. So, nice and controlled coming up and down. We'll go back to this end of the room. Good morning, come on in, Sharon. Um, I shoulder, pull the shoulder blades together, you're going to lift up the leg, control to lower back down. So, we just want to keep lifting those hips up. Keep that belly button pulled to the spine. 
Core nice and tight. Awesome. Two and one. Let's flip those sides over. So elbow underneath shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades together. Core nice and tight. Okay, perfect. Let's go into some hee haws. They're going to be in a high plank. Core tight, push to the ground, not letting your shoulders keep in. And you can go for little hops or come up a little higher. Do what's right for you. Okay, good. Let's grab a dumbbell, a light one. You don't have to, but you can. If you want to go a little extra, you're going to be coming up, reach for your toes, and back down. Coming up, reach for the toes, and back down. So arms come overhead, and then reaching up for the crunch at the top. Good. Awesome. And one. Okay. Let's move on over for a swimmer's paddle. So swimmer's paddle, we're going to squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvis, extend your arms and legs, and like you're swimming on top of the water. And we tighten up those glutes, keep the belly button pulled to the spine. It's easier if the eyes are straight down on the mat, that way it's easier on the neck. And keep that core super tight. Paddling right on top of the water for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, rest it out, grab some water, and then we're gonna get started here. Whew, okay. All right. Okay, so first circuit, 12 minutes long. We're gonna go through as many times as we can. Try and get two to three rounds in. Okay, so all set the clock. We have our dumbbell swings to start. All right. And getting ready to go. Okay, so holding that dumbbell. Push your chest out. This is a hinge, so you're going to reach forward, push the hips back, squeeze the glutes coming tall. And again, making sure we don't overarch the top, so rib cage down. So reaching right through, squeeze the glutes, and then keep that chest super proud. So don't let those shoulders down. So yeah, good. Push your chest out, squeeze those armpits to stop the shoulders from folding forward. All right, exhale as you come toward the top. Go tight. Two and one. Okay. One arm thrusters. Weaker side first. So most of us, that's going to be our left side. Okay, so core nice and tight. Squatting down. Power that weight up. So use the power of the legs. Keep that core super tight. Exhale, coming up. Good, so as we go down, because we have weight on one side, you have to use a lot of core to keep yourself even. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's switch those sides up. Stronger arm, your cage down. Exhale, come up. Awesome, looking good. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice work, you guys. 
We're gonna go into alternating sit-ups. Next. So, hands behind the head. You're gonna lay on down, rotate up to your opposite side, as high as you can comfortably go. If it's here, that's perfectly good too. And if you can, swing up, you'll swing up to the top. But if not, don't worry. Awesome, looking good. Almost there. And we're gonna go to a plank walkout with a one leg lift if you're comfortable. Okay, so plank walkout, the wider your feet, the easier this will be. The more narrow, the more challenging. So core tight up to high plank. If you're comfortable, bring one leg up, lower to where you're comfortable, push up, reset, bring back up. Okay, so core tight, push the hips back, walking forward, and now I would switch that one leg that was up. Good. Awesome, you guys. Again, squeeze the glutes, keep that belly button pulled to the spine, especially as you lower and come back up. And one more, almost. Okay, let's do a sit up hold with the rotation. Chest is up, watching those hands. Nice and controlled. Good, keep that chest pushed out. The further you lean back, the harder it is to keep your chest up. Almost. And, okay, you guys, back at the top. Dumbbell swings. Okay, so core nice and tight. Push the chest out. Reach to the tops of the legs. Squeeze the glutes. Making sure not to over arch at the top. So really push the chest out. Awesome. Core tight, squeeze those glutes, keep your chest pushed out. You got it. Two and one. Okay. One arm thrusters, weaker side first. Okay, so squatting down, exhale, pushing up. Keeping that core nice and tight. Staying even as you drop into that squat. So take your time. Just because I go fast doesn't mean you have to. Our form is everything. You want to keep that chest up. Make sure you're evenly driving those knees out. Squeeze the glutes, powering up. And let's swap to your stronger side. So weight facing in, squatting down, exhale, Squeeze the glutes. Awesome, looking great, you guys. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice work, you guys. Let's take it down to the floor. For your alternating sit-ups, hands supporting your knee. Rotating as you come up, keeping that chest proud, making sure you're not rounding the back too much. Perfect. 
exhaling as you come on up. All right, let's move on over. Okay, we're gonna go to our plank walkout with the leg lifted up, so core tight, push the hips back. And then again, if you're comfortable, you're gonna lift one leg up, really tighten up that core before you lower down. Nice, looking good. Almost there. Good, one more. Making sure we're not arching through the back. As we lower it down, really squeeze the glutes. All right, now we're back to our sit up, hold with the rotation. All right. Whew. Nice and controlled, watching those hands from side to side. And almost there. And one. Okay. We have time to do a little bit of that third round. Okay, so back at our dumbbell swings. Push your chest up. Our case down, same to the tops of the legs. Squeeze the glutes. Coming tall. Making sure that we're not overarching at the top. And then push your chest out. Make sure your back is super flat. So try to have a little bit more, Sharon. You got this. Awesome. Looking good. Almost there. Two and one. When I'm thrusters, weaker side first. Core nice and tight, rib cage down, exhale, pushing toward the top. Three, two, and one. Plop those arms over, stronger side, core tight, rib cage down, exhale, come toward the top. Those squats are looking really good, you guys. Awesome. And three, two, and one. Okay, back down to the floor. Alternating sit-ups. Coming up to where we can go. Rotating. Core tight. Exhale as you get to the top. Awesome. Looking strong. You got it. Keeping that chest pushed out. Core tight. And flip one over. Last 40 seconds of our workout. We're just about we're not of the workout of this circuit, sorry. Almost. So take a breather and then come on up. We'll finish off with these plank walkouts to a leg lift. Squeeze the loop. Core nice and tight. You want your body to feel like a board, like you're in that stiff plank. So squeeze as tight as you can. Make sure you're not arching to the back. Last one. And rest. Okay. Grab 
have a sip of water. Ooh. All right, we have our 10 minute cap next. Ooh. Okay, so we have a side plank with a slow leg lift. To start, we'll start on that weaker side with that elbow down first. Okay, starting in 10. I'm gonna go to the back of the room so you guys can see me. Okay, so side plank, elbow underneath shoulder, pull the shoulder blades together, lift the leg up, and shoulder to lower down. Just keep lifting those hips. You can, if you find it hard, you can always go down with that knee to support as well, okay? Yeah, that's perfect. And let's flop those sides over. So stronger arm, elbow underneath shoulder, pull the shoulder blades together, lift the hips up, nice and controlled as we come up and down, keeping that core super tight. Breathing through. All right. We're gonna go to some hijas, some of my favorites. So, starting in a high plank, push to the ground. You can go little hops or coming higher up if you're comfortable. Do what's right for you. All right. Whew. So we're gonna grab a dumbbell if you're comfortable. You do not have to. Okay. Extend your arms and legs. We're gonna bring the weight up and crunching up to the top if you can. Bring the weight up, reaching to the top. Awesome, looking good. Keep that low back push into the floor. The lower the heels go, the more it'll challenge that position. And, okay, we're gonna go to our source paddle, okay? So feel that stretch to the side. We're gonna flip on over to your stomach. Extend the arms and legs. And now squeeze the glutes. Eyes are down on the ground. Making sure you guys can, okay, you can see me. Really tighten up the glutes. Point your toes. Swimming on top of that water. Core tight. Make sure your shoulders don't hunch up. Pack them down while still having the arms straight. If you can't do that, you can bend the arms instead. Make sure that you're not feeling it in that trap area. Okay? Four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. We are back at the top, you guys. Back at the top. Make sure we're at the time. Okay, good. So weaker arm down first. And again, you can bend this leg as well. The most important thing is pulling up the hips, okay? Very core nice and tight. Good. And let's switch. Stronger arm is gonna be underneath you now. A bow underneath shoulder again. You can bend that bottom leg down instead. Pull the shoulder blades together, lifting up, not letting our hips drop as our leg does. Core nice and tight. Whew. 
Good, and rest. Let's go into some hee-haws. Again, go to the height that works for you. We can do little hops, or you can come higher up if you're comfortable. Okay? to our dumbbell overhead. You can use a weight if you'd like. All right. Core nice and tight. Hands above. Swinging up. Reach for the toes. Job, you guys, you got this. Core tight, reaching to where it's comfortable. And let's swim on over. Let's do a swimmer's paddle. Flip on over. Core tight. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvis. And again, keep your shoulders down and back. If you're feeling it, bend the arms instead. We don't want to have anything around your trap area. It causes headaches. We definitely don't want that. Now squeeze your glutes, point your toes, belly button pulls in the spine. Keep that core super tight. Good. Almost. Swim to that shore for five, four, three, two. All right, give yourself a moment here. Whew. We're going to start one last round, okay? We're doing really good. Shake it out. <sighs> We're going to go to our side plank. Weaker arms down first. Pull the shoulder blades together. Lift the hips up. Looking good, keep pulling that top shoulder back, you got it. And let's switch those sides over, you guys. Stronger arm is down, elbow underneath your shoulders. Pull the shoulder blades together. And you lift the hip up. And bringing your top leg up, not letting those hips take a dive though. Nice and controlled, core tight. And one. Whew. Good. We're gonna go into some hee-haws next. Core tight. Again, going to the height that's comfortable for you. It can be little hops or coming higher up. chill out. Okay guys, we're almost there. Flip on over. Grab that weight. Almost there. We're almost there. And flip on over. We're ending with this one. Last one, you guys. Okay, core tight. Squeeze the glutes. Eyes are down on the floor. Point the toes. 
Don't let your shoulders hunch up. Again, don't let those shoulders come up. Point your toes, squeeze your glutes. Almost there. Three, two, and rest. Oh. All right. <laughs> I love it. You guys took that rest seriously. Good job. Nice work. Whew. Okay. Just gonna try and adjust my hair here that fell down. Okay. We have one last circuit to go through. Let's see what my hands Okay. Whew. Last circuit here. It's gonna be eight minutes long. Okay, we're starting down on the ground with some plank jacks. And then we'll have some crunches with a hold, bicycle and rotate nice and slow. And then an overhead uh, double reverse lunge. Okay. Whew. All right. So down in high plank and we'll get started. So high plank, push to the ground, core tight, jump your feet in and out. The most important thing is not letting your bum stay down. If you notice it is, you're going to step tap it instead. Just squeeze those glutes, keep the core super tight, push to the ground. Three, two, and one. Awesome, you guys. Let's go to our crunches with a two second hold at the top. So hands underneath the head. You're going to crunch up, hold, two, one, back down. So super small motion here. Crunch up, one, two, back down. And again, you want to gently support the head, but you're not tucking it. It's a little motion. Exhale, and then slow on the way back down. You want to feel that right at the top of those abdominals. Exhale, gentle pause. Good, almost there. And one more. Oh, oh. All right, now hands underneath the head. You're gonna bring your elbow to the opposite side and you're gonna pulse the leg up and down nice and slow. You wanna make sure that low back is not leaving the ground. So pretend my hand is underneath there and you're trying to squish it. Keep that core super tight. Good, keep. Bringing that elbow toward that opposite side. Point the toe. Push that low back in the floor. Breathing through for two and one. Flip those sides over. And again, try to get that elbow towards your opposite side. Take a moment whenever you need one. And then pulsing that leg up and down, but not letting that low back come off the floor. Yeah, so you have your foot up. You have your foot up, you're rotating to one side, and then your heel is dropping up and down. All right. Almost, almost. We can do this, right? We're doing great. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys, let's come to standing here. Okay. So we're gonna have one hand straight and then we're gonna go into a reverse lunge with our opposite side. So arm is locked out, weaker side first, and then you're gonna bring your, and then coming up, reset. You can put your foot down if you notice your balance is off kilter. If you're good, then you can bring your knee up into a drive. Awesome. Keeping that core super tight. Make sure your arm is locked out at the top. So arm is super straight. Good. 
Good, core tight, give yourself a moment. Find that balance, you got this. So go super slow. You can also take your foot, land it. Slow to come back down, come back up. And then you can step your feet together too, instead of knee driving. And we're gonna switch those sides up. Lock up that arm, core nice and tight. Take a step back, drop that back knee, and then squeeze your glute. Come nice and tall, your cage tucked, right? Find your balance, you got this. And then take your time. Good, awesome, nice work. Almost there. And one, okay. We're back at our plank jacks at the top, okay? We're gonna make it through just about two rounds, but not quite. So core tight, jumping the feet in and out. Push to the ground, squeeze the glutes. Okay, so we have our crunches with a hold at the top. Flip on over, hands underneath the head, supporting that tugging or even just the side. Crunching up, two second exhale, come back down. It's a little motion, you're just going straight up and then back down. Yeah, so little motion. If your hands are going up, it's just this little pulse. Little pulse, so hands up, just a teeny one, even just looking up, holding here, slow on the way down. Yeah, so it's just this teeny tiny motion. Good, and you can support the head to protect the neck. Just make sure you're not tugging. Perfect. Almost there. And go into our bicycle and rotate. So hands underneath the head, and then elbow toward that opposite side, and then point your toe. And then the lower the heel goes, the more challenging this position will be. So nice controlled. Again, the lower the heel goes, the more challenging it is to keep your low back into the floor. Breathing through. And switch sides. Almost there. And right, back on our feet. We're gonna finish with this move. This is the last of our workout here. Okay, weaker side first. Taking that opposite leg back, dropping that back knee. If you're comfortable, knee drive, but you certainly don't have to if you're losing your balance. So really tighten up that core when you're going for that knee drive, crunching in. Good, one more. Awesome, let's flop those arms over, lock it out, drop that back knee, squeeze the glute, crunch on in. Keeping that top arm locked out. And then taking your time with those reverse lunges, finding our balance, squeeze the glute. Nice, come on up. And rest. Whew. All right, let's do some stretching. Whew. Let's go into a pigeon pose to start. So you're down on the knees, bring one leg in cross, uh, out and cross, out in front, sorry. And then pull that ankle with your kick your other foot back and we can round on down.
switch those sides up. Again, get across one ankle in front. I like to pull that foot down, kick your other leg back, and round on down. Okay, coming on up, let's go into a child's pose. So you're going to reach your hands out, tuck your elbows to your center, tuck your pelvis. Push your chest down to the floor and then extend your hips back. And you can gently walk your hands forward to get deeper into that stretch. Coming on up. Okay, so just gently leaning back. You want to feel a stretch all the way to the front of the body. Lift the chest up. You can hold up the back of the ankles as well. Good. And three, two, one. Lace the hands in front. Rip cage down. Push the hands away from the body as far as you can. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. And coming up to standing, you're going to go wide with your stance. Your hand is on the side of the leg. Lift up first, so up. Lift through the rib cage and gently leaning over, push the hips out. Good. And gently coming back to center. Support on the side, lift up first and gently push the hip out. And gently coming up, last stretch, hands behind the back, gently pushing your hands down toward the ground, opening up the chest. Good. A nice work today. You guys did awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. What a great way to start your day. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and I will chat with you guys soon. Thanks, Thanks. for coming. Bye. Bye.